Hey, what's up, you guys? I know you guys ain't used to seeing me like this unless you've been a part of my channel before. This is what it looks like with me when my hair is not done. Um, it's Sunday. It's a Sunday afternoon. Cue the music. On a Sunday afternoon. We're chilling in the park. Just waiting for the sun to go down. It was me and Shiro and the homies. A lot of shade of love. Yes. Um, I'll probably get copywritten for that. But anyways, um, you see my hair is not done. It's froed out right now. Get a little hair sleeve up there to keep it up. Um, but yeah, this is what I look like. I got a fro. Um, I don't know how detailed it looks like in, inside this. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Who cares, right? Anyways, uh, so I had to do some errands. I'm, you know, finalizing stuff. I have a 5 a.m. showtime tomorrow. I can't be doing these early morning shows. Um, but I'm going from, it's not warm here in Dallas. It's 54 degrees where I'm at in Dallas. And tomorrow I'm going somewhere colder. I'm going to Minneapolis. Chilly, willy, willy, coolie. So this is the, the dilemma of um, working during this time of the year. Because you don't know, I'm pulling on my schedule right now. You don't know whether or not to pack warm or part or pack cold. Um, and well, I can kind of pack cold for this trip. Um, yeah. So I'm in Minneapolis tomorrow, and then the next day I'm in Detroit. So they're both cold places. Um, it shouldn't be cold this time of year, but it is. Um, according to the forecast on the phone, it says Minneapolis is going to have a high of 39. It's April. Come on, now. And Detroit's going to have a high of 48. Better, but still it's April. Um, and then when I get back to Dallas, it's supposed to be 81 degrees. Like, so, people get sick around this time, especially flight tents. I got to shave, too. But anyways, um... So that trip's kind of, you know, you definitely go on pack warm. But my next trip, I have Minneapolis, which is, you know, still about 50s and 40s. Um, so it's a little bit warmer, but, you know, that's warm. And then I go to Houston, which is 79. So in the middle of my trip, I'm going from cold to hot and hot and cold. And so it's like, it's, it's messed up. But um, you got to learn how to pack. And I'll probably do a packing video one day or something like that. But literally, so you pack um, for whatever your layovers are. You know what I'm saying? So I know in Houston, I'm not gonna probably not gonna do anything because it's you know where our hotel is. There's nothing around. We're by the you know you know by absolutely nothing. So um, I probably don't have to take shorts because I know I'm not gonna go outside. I could just pack my pants that I'll probably wear when I'm going to Minneapolis to go. You know chill out in the mall and everything like that um granted that the mall is always 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 tempered at 70 degrees yes the mall of america is always at 70 degrees no matter what time of the year it's always 70 degrees but um yeah so you gotta learn how to pack so you, if you're going to cold places make sure you pack you, you know, your jackets and your warm stuff in case you want to go out with the crew or whatever like that. And it depends on where you're going. I mean, if you're going to New York, yeah, you really want to pack so you because you might want to go out about in Times Square and all that stuff. If it's Minneapolis, you know, I know we're probably, me, I'm probably just going to go to the Mall of America. Um, uh, because that's, you know, has everything, has food, has entertainment, has everything like that. And it's close by. I don't have to go far. Um, everything else. I mean, like, if you're going to the beach, you want to pack shorts, flip-flops. Um, my rule is always, 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 always pack a swimsuit. Whether you're going to the beach or you're going to go somewhere cold, there's always the swim pool. You might want to go to the swimming pool. You might want to hit up the uh, hot tub. My, my homeboy goes to the hot tub in every layover he goes to. Every hot tub. Um, probably why he's always in Orlando. Shout out to my homeboy, um, Seven. What's up, man? Um, so, 
yeah, learn how to pack. Um, we'll, we'll show you how to pack stuff and everything. But always pack a swimsuit. Um, if you person who likes to work out, work, take out workout gear. If you're not a person who works out, you can still pack out workout gear because you might get the urge. Or you might get that crew member who motivates you to go work out. And then you have workout gear. Um, so, yeah. Um, but I need to get this done. And I'm about to go get it done. And you'll see the final result. So, no more fro, bro. Fro, yo. So, as you see, the hair is done now. I'm good to go. Right now, I'm cleaning out my uh, containers for my food that I will be taking on my trip. You know, just the process of doing things before we're going to work. Knowing that you're going to be gone for four days, you might want to pack a little bit of food so you can have something to eat. That way you're not spending all your money and the per diem that you're getting on food that you, you know, going out to eat. I'm saying, you, I, I'll probably still go out. Um, um, I am planning going, I don't know, hanging out with one of my friends um, in Minneapolis. Um, might go bowling, I don't know. But nowhere expensive, because I've already spent a lot of my money on um, a trip that I'm planning in June. So, <sighs> kind of tight on cash. But we're still going to make it happen. Because, you know, I don't get up to Minneapolis as much as I used to. And, you know, it's always good to see new friends. Or not actually new friends. Old friends um, that you haven't seen for a while. So, um, sorry if this angle's like bad. But, you know, I was washing dishes. I still have a lot to wash. Still got to wash these. Those will be washed before I leave. Um, I made spaghetti, um, turkey meat, um, some garlic. I actually made real garlic, well, made my own garlic bread. Um, uh, uh, you know, I just toasted some bread, melted some butter, put some garlic, uh, flakes in it. Boom. Your own garlic bread. And none of that stuff that's frozen or preserved, you know, so it's just straight up. Your garlic bread. So that was good. Um, some of the things that you definitely want to do before you leave on a trip. Um, take your trash out. Because if you're gone for four days. Imagine having trash sitting in your house for four days just sitting there. Doesn't come back clean. Especially during the summertime. If you don't keep the air running. Um, it does get kind of stank in your house. So always take out the trash before you leave. I usually do it on the way out. Um, but I might actually do it tonight before I, you know, lay down and everything like that. Um, there's probably some other stuff that you need to do. You do need to pack. Do need to get food. Um, if you're into meal prepping, definitely do meal prepping. If you're not into meal prepping, you should probably should get into meal prepping. Meal prepping is really not that hard. It's basically, you're cooking for four or five days. Meals for four or five days. So it could be any, you know, you'll have your meals and then you can have your snacks and stuff like that. So you don't have to, you know, eat out all the time. Now, there will probably be one or two nights that you might go out and eat with the crew. But mainly, you want to just keep your money as close as possible to you and not spend it while you're on your layovers and use your money to go on trips. Personal trips, you know, like I'm doing in June. All right, now I gotta put the food into the bowls. Then wash the rest of these dishes. don't do spaghetti but I want spaghetti this weekend so I made spaghetti and I made enough for my trip and it's cheap um, usually what I usually make is some kind of variation of chicken um, baked chicken so it's rather like some occasion um, 
spiced um, chicken breast um, that's baked or lemon pepper some some kind of flavored chicken and always some some kind of vegetables so like uh, uh, some either some green beans I do a lot of uh, roasted broccoli I do a lot of roasted Bro roasted broccoli is so easy like one of them, the simplest ones that I ever do is whatever kind of chicken whatever flavor chicken I do is you know usually uh, breasts or you can even do some chicken strips um, thighs and take a little bit longer but um, you know season your, your chicken um, do put your broccoli you know put some olive oil on there and the broccoli and everything like that and I usually take sweet potatoes and dice them up into a little you know half inch squares or whatever and um, you know put some olive oil on them so half of it I have this like pizza pan um, and I put half of it is um, the sweet potatoes and then the other half is the broccoli and I roast that you know it's about 20 minutes or so like that of roasting those um, in the oven you know what I'm saying just baking baking just baking it you know baking those and then take it out take the broccoli off the broccoli's done the sweet potatoes need a little bit longer so you, you know move those around flip them around stuff like that so that you know they get you know fully cooked on all the sides and everything nice and soft um not too soft but you know soft enough and then i put the chicken on there so the other half so now the half that i take the broccoli off i put the chicken on and i put the chicken in there and i put it in there for about another 20 25 minutes by that time the sweet potatoes are done and the chicken's done and the broccoli's done 45 minutes at the most i am done with the cooking part then i just put it into those little containers that you saw um, that fit perfectly into my bag let me show you my bag real quick alright so here's my bag it's a, a six pack bag and it's perfect I love it because um, those containers go right in here I do have some uh, energy drinks some kickstarts ready for tomorrow because um, it's an early show um, everything I love this bag man it's the best lunch bag I've had um, you put stuff in the sides here on both sides and then at the top you put some other stuff and then the ice packs go right here on the inside and it keeps everything in, in the middle cold so that's where my food usually is um, if I need some other ice I put like you know sometimes I have yogurt and I'll put it over here and then I put some ice on top of it um, a little ice pack on top of it keep that coat on that side but this is a you know it's one of the best bags. I wanted the bigger one. It's a little bit taller, like that that tall, um, and everything like that. Um, need to wash that too. Um, but let's start looking at the bag. But yeah, I love that bag. I wish I could have the bigger one where it has I think it's five of the trays in there. So it's uh, you know I can definitely make more meals so I can have some lunch stuff like that but um, I'm gonna put some stuff on the side and make sandwiches for myself um, some turkey and chicken sandwiches for like you know lunch and spaghetti is pretty much gonna be dinner type meals and stuff like that so um, I need to finish packing uh, so there's a little update you know stuff that you do before you start you know your four-day trip I got on four-day trip do Minneapolis and Detroit as you, I told you before, so it's going to be kind of chilly, so I'm a, I'll probably pack a little sweater, but I'm not taking my shorts. Alright, so uh, let's finish packing.